Hello everyone, my name is Roger Samsoa and I'm a postdoc researcher at the Institute of Marine Sciences of the Spanish National Research Council in Barcelona. In this series of videos, I'm going to be demonstrating how to download and install everything that is needed to run the PyMedias models and also how to parameterize the models and run simulations. This first video will be dedicated to present the project and also the models and how to download all the required software. In the following three videos, I'll be showing you how to configure Linux, Windows and Mac machines to run the PyMedias models. And in the last video, I'll be demonstrating how to create new scenarios, run simulations and plot the results. In the Medias project, we're building integrated assessment models with the aim of guiding the transition of the European Union from a fossil fuel based economy to a renewable one. Those models were originally built in Bensim software and later translated to Python using the PySD Python library. All this work is carried out within the framework of the Medias project funded by a EU Horizon 2020 call. If you want to read more about the models or find some information about the project itself and the partners involved, please go check out the project website, which you will find in the description below. Now going back to the main topic of this video, so far we have released two models, the one at global scale that we named PyMedias underscore W and the other one at EU scale that we named PyMedias underscore EU. Before the end of the project, that is December 2019, we will be adding two additional models at a smaller geographical scale, those of Austria and Bulgaria. These two models could potentially be used as a blueprint to develop an energy model for your country if you wish to do so. Please bear in mind that all the code developed in the Medias project is fully open source. The code is licensed under the MIT license and you can get it for free from two sources. The project website, which is the recommended way if you only want to use the code, or the Git repository, which is the one you should consider if you want to follow the development of the code or you want to contribute. Now let's get started. In order to get the model up and running, we'll need to do these three things. First, we'll need to download the PyMedias code from the Medias website. Then we'll need to install Python and the pipemp library in our system. And finally, we'll need to create a virtual environment and install all the required Python libraries used by the models using the pipemp library. So let's download the Anaconda Python 3 distribution first, which is widely used in the data science field. To do that, we go to their website and click the download button. Anaconda releases versions of its distribution for Linux, Mac and Windows, so please make sure you download the right one for your operative system. So now that we have downloaded the Anaconda installer in our system and before installing it, we will download the PyMedias models from the project website. So we go to the website and click on model. If you want to get the latest news on the model and the project, feel free to register to the mailing list. In this case, I'm already registered to the mailing list, so I'll skip this step and download the code directly in my computer. We also have a forum on the project website where you can leave any comments or questions about the model or the project itself. So now that we have downloaded everything we need to install in our computer, I'll end this video and I'll be back with the rest of the videos of the series. Thank you for your attention and please follow the Medias project on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn and YouTube and subscribe to the mailing list. Please look in the description below to find the links to the Medias teaser and documentary. See ya!